Hi, this is Marianne Schultz, and this is a review of the Jot Pro Stylus made by Adonit. So as you can see here, I've got a little bit of a stylus collection. Um, I have here uh, one from Boxwave, one from Hard Candy that has a stylus tip on one end and a ballpoint pen on the other, and I also have Just Mobile's, Just Mobile's Alu Pen. Um, all of these are styli intended for uh, devices with capacitive touchscreens like the iPad 2. I've been looking for kind of the perfect stylus uh, to use with my iPad 2 to take handwritten notes, and I've tried all of these and um, have come to a Donut's uh, Jot Pro. Um, all of the, the styli here at the, at the top have the same type of tip. They have a, um, see if I can focus in on this, they have a rubber tip that has some sort of foam in it, so there is some give. Um, they work just fine on the iPad screen, uh, a little imprecise as you can probably guess from the rounded rubber tip. It's not like writing with a ballpoint pen. You can't see exactly where you're writing, so they've all worked just fine. Um, none of them have been perfect, so uh, I continued my search and found the uh, Jot Pro through Kickstarter. Um, they had started to fund the um, production of the Jot Pro through Kickstarter. Let me move these out of the way. Uh, the Jot Pro is different. It does have a very different tip, um, and I'll come to that in a minute, but just to cover the basics on the uh, Jot Pro, it comes in two different models. They offer the Jot, the Jot Pro. Uh, the Jot um, comes in green, purple, and red at the time of this review, whereas the Jot Pro comes in gunmetal, silver, or turquoise. I have the Jot Pro in gunmetal right here. Other differences between the two different models, the uh, Jot Pro only, uh, not the Jot, has this rubberized grip that you can see here. And uh, the Jot Pro also has a magnet, which works with the iPad too, is kind of a temporary holding um, place or way to attach it to your iPad um, as you're using it. And I'll show how that works in, in just a moment. But getting to the tip of the Jot Pro. So I know I showed you the tip from the AluPen just a moment ago and how it's just this rounded rubber thing. And the Jot Pro has a metal ball with a plastic disc uh, that comes into contact with your iPad screen. Um, so it is different, and I'll show you how that works on the iPad in just a moment. The uh, Jot Pro is made of uh, CNC machined aluminum and 303 uh, steel, both the barrel and the cap. Um, and the rubber grip is fairly firm, doesn't have a lot of give, Just uh, it's just nice enough to um, give you that extra to hold on to it uh, fairly easily. Uh, the, Jot Pro has a fairly good weight uh, overall. Uh, according to the food scale in my kitchen, it's about three quarters of an ounce, so it feels like a, a, a nice pen. Um, according to Adonit, the uh, capacitive displays look for contact points of a certain minimum size in order to register input, and that's about six millimeters in diameter. And the tip here, the plastic disc on the Jot Pro, um, that is eight millimeters in diameter. It may look like it's flimsy. Uh, I can move it around here a lot, as you can see, but um, it's actually not. Adana posted a really neat video showing a lot of weight tied onto this disc, and it takes a fair amount of force to pop it off. Uh, but if you do, uh, it does come off for some reason, or somehow you can, you should be able to just pop it right back on, and if you lose it, or if it doesn't go back on, you can order replacements from Adana as well. So I wanted to show uh, the Jot Pro Stylus in action on the iPad too, but before I get to that, I did want to cover one other feature that I, um, that I hadn't mentioned previously, and that is the presence of a magnet within the Jot Pro. And this is meant to be kind of a temporary way to attach the Jot Pro to your iPad as you're using, uh, as you're using it, you know, just if you need to do something else, you need to put down your pen and you know, answer a phone call or something along those lines and you don't want the stylus to roll away. So it's got a magnet inside and that is a primary difference as well between the Jot Pro that I have here and the regular Jot. Um, the Jot does not have the magnet inside, only the Jot Pro uh, model offers that and you can see here that it's turning my iPad on and off. But at any rate, um, very handy. Uh, I've had some issues with the um, hard candy stylus that I've used um, before. <laughs> Uh, I was at a conference and I put it down and it rolled right away from me. So uh, definitely going to appreciate the uh, magnet in the Jot Pro that will prevent that from happening in the future. But to show you how this works on the iPad to let me unscrew the cap here um, and how that metal or how that plastic disc uh, works. It um, I have the Note Taker HD app open here and it has a close up handwriting section here at the bottom and it um, puts your text in a, a smaller uh, size up at the top so you can fit more text onto a page. It's one of my favorite handwriting apps. But um, you can see here, let's see, um, Jot Pro 
stylus. So forgive my handwriting here, it's not the best. It does come out better on paper, I promise. Um, but it's uh, fairly easy, I don't know if you can hear. I'll, I should also note that I have a screen protector on my iPad too. I have um, SGP anti-glare protector. Um, Adonit has mentioned that some people using other um, screen protectors or skins might have some trouble with the Jot Pro. I haven't had any trouble with mine at all uh, with this SGP uh, screen protector on it. I'll put a link to that um, uh, on my site. So if you are looking for a screen protector as well, and uh, as well as um, a stylus, these are pretty good, or this is a pretty good combination in my view. But here you can see how this disc oops, uh, let's see, it moves um, easily on the screen. Oops, and I'm not doing this the right way. But just to take notes quickly to show you how that works. Now, if you consider comparatively uh, the round, rounded rubber tip of this Just Mobile stylus, it's a lot fatter, um, and you can't exactly see where you're writing. So see where. So not, not quite the same um, feel or precision you get um, with other style I compared to the Jot Pro. And I have to imagine that this kind of tip is much better for those who like to draw um, on their iPad. So if you're an artist, you want to sketch something out, uh, much easier to do so and see exactly where uh, you're writing on the iPad screen using the, uh, using the Jot Pro. So... Um, there you go, that was that demonstration there of how that works on the iPad. Um, overall pros, I feel like the Jot Pro, uh, the Jot is more precise, again, as a stylus compared to others that I've tried or most of the other ones that are on the market right now. Uh, writing feels more natural. It's not you know, exactly like writing with a ballpoint pen. Of course, you can't replicate that on an iPad screen anyway, and I you know, wouldn't expect to do so, but uh, the Jot Pro gets pretty close, and I really like that. Um, the magnet is a great idea. I really like how you're able to attach the Jot Pro just even for a little while to your um, iPad and keep it there for just a second if you need to do something else while you're taking notes and you don't want it to get away from you. Um, in terms of cons, uh, you know, I honestly really don't have any. Um, I would say that a clip would be nice uh, if I wanted to keep it, um, you know, organized better. Some people like that if they put it in a shirt pocket or something. I don't do that, but. Uh, you know, it's more, it's not really a, a con, just kind of a wish maybe for other people more so than me. I think the magnet, uh, as I mentioned, is a great alternative uh, for temporary use. Um, one thing I didn't cover previously, I apologize for that, is the price. The Jot Pro costs $29.99 and uh, the regular Jot costs $19.99. Uh, as I write this review, there's about a four-week lead time to get either model, so you're going to have to wait a little while. I got this through Kickstarter and was able to get it um, uh, in advance of kind of the regular consumer, if you will, or availability to general consumers um, overall. Uh, other cons, uh, that price um, might put off some users or casual users. So if you're just looking for a stylus for occasional notes, that might be a little too expensive for you. But if you're a student, um, you know, business person who wants to take notes regularly with your iPad, I think this is a, a good choice, a very good choice uh, compared to all the other styli that are out there. Um, I wouldn't mind to uh, seeing a pen slash stylus combo. Uh, like the hard candy that I have that offers a ballpoint um, pen on the other end. I, I'm not sure how they do that design-wise, but you know, it's not really a con, just more of a, a general wish because if I keep this in my purse, I like having you know um, both in one as opposed to carrying a stylus and a pen as well for regular paper, uh, which I still use, um, um, even though it's kind of a more of an analog way to, to go, but I still try to write on paper every now and then. In summary, uh, the Jot Pro is now my stylus of choice. I'll probably sell the other ones I have, probably except the, the hard candy one because it does have that um, ballpoint pen on one and I like to keep that in my purse so I can have a pen or a stylus um, you know, just on the spur of the moment if I need one. Um, but that's it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. You can use the contact form on my site at MarianneSchultz.com. Thank you for watching. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at uh, mschultz. That's E-M-S-C-H-U-L-T-Z. Thank you.